Sunday mornings before you let time take you away. Those Sunday mornings you trace the lifelines in my palms between snow white sheets and attempt to read how long our love would live in the palm of my hands. I used to wonder what my mind would look like with no memory of you. Would it be black or look like the word lonely? Would it be better off? Would you pop up in my dreams because my subconscious knows better? Because it knows that you are a part of me even if the memory of you looks better in someone else's mind. If forgetting you was as easy as blinking, I fear closing my eyes for too long. Because for too long, I thought I wasn't worthy of sharing the same pillow with an image of God. But we are so fortunate to have a piece of heaven in our world. You have given me love, and my goal is to annoy you for the rest of our lives. You, right here with me, and me right here with you. Face to face, I close my eyes and inhale your truth. You are a lotus flower cracking bloom for the very first time. And I, entranced by your beauty, will never pick the petals from your smile. I can only stare in awe that I have been able to lay my hand upon a living garden. I will swim in my thoughts with you and not in such empty words to tell you how crazy you make me feel. I will show you. Like you are the lost piece to God's puzzle and I am your lighthouse shining just for you. I have been searching the lengths of the sea and until the clock strikes 13, just for you, for you to make a home in this barren tower of a heart. Let me sing you the oldest known love song that sits on the river's floor of Tigris and Euphrates. And although I am a fool with no capabilities of holding a tune, seeing you shake your head and nose crinkle in embarrassment makes me appreciate you that much more because you're still here with me. I am so terrified to let all of me love you, but I want you to be the last person I introduce my heart to. I want to love you hard, as hard as it was to not put your name in this poem, as hard as a first kiss after being a year of an ocean ways apart. You were the unexpected event that I could not run my game on. You were the unexpected event that made me run the opposite direction, but you caught me. You catch me every time. I have written a hundred love poems, some for our past, a few more for our future, and the rest all that we want. Maybe one day, on a Sunday morning,